And a good Tuesday to all you motherfuckers. It is Taco Tuesday. Go get some tacos. Get her taco. Well, the camera makes it look like she's thick, but she's just regular. Regular white girl. Uh, November 1994, Auto Santa Security. Yeah, I just figured that out the other day about the uh, initials. ASS. Ha ha ha. So this is the black gold. $70,000 sound machine, $70,000 retail. Probably only cost about 10, if that. And then, but they get to write it off on their taxes. So it's a big tax write off is what it really is. Because it ends up serving the purpose of uh, advertising. So when you advertise a business, you don't have to pay taxes on that money. Um, let's see. You'll hear more from us. Alphasonic High Current Series. Fully regulated PWM. Uh, I don't like the switched 18 dB bass boost because it's either too much or not enough. You really want to have that thing variable. So that's Alpha Sonic. Ugh, saw this guy again. Ugh, we saw this guy again. Get some new ads, people. Sissy, I'm not feeding you because you were just out here. A Chevy something. What amp is that? It is a custom box. I don't know. It doesn't say. Oh, it's probably like a power amper. Looks like it. Power amper did that. Uh... There you go. I like these guys. Look at that sound stream. This beautiful board. I like some of the American series stuff they did, you know, with the American flag and uh, the plexi bottoms. Really kind of cool. So. Not a big fan of this um, type of heatsink. This is see how this is a little trace that shows the device underneath, and then this is the bolt that holds the devices down. So not a big fan of that, but you know whatever. We've seen this before. Sex drivers, innovative audio products incorporated. I A P I A P. Uh, sex drivers. They put out, <laughs> and they're not great. But, you know, whatever. If it's cheap and they put out, then good good for you. Pile driver with the purple surrounds. I ask a member. I ask a member. All you have to do is, like, contribute to the I ask a fund. And then guess what? You're an I ask a member. Same thing with, uh, what was it, THX? With uh, uh, George Lucas started that little thing. That was, that was very smart of him. Because at the time, there was no standards. And he's like, we need to have some standards. I'm a leader in movies so let's set some standards and then they set the standards and then they didn't tell you what the standards were you had to submit your product and you had to pay money for the submission and then he would either give you a yes or no isn't that that's talk about being the hot chick yeah definitely so but uh again thx doesn't really mean anything it just is like has to be at least whatever 50 watts per channel on the surrounds at least 100, 150 on the fronts. Again, it doesn't really mean anything. So it depends on your application. This thing I thought was cute. Uh, Jensen came out with a similar device. This is from uh, ACA, Advanced Composite Audio. And uh, it says it gets down to a flat bass response down to 12 hertz. Hmm, sounds like, a, sounds like a heavy turd to me. But, you know, whatever sells the product, that's, you know, again, if a product or a subwoofer like this is not being sold and not being put to use then what good is it so but uh let's see it doesn't really give any more information about that it looks like it has a built-in amplifier because it's got rca or is that rca no that might be speaker speaker input direct inputs so whatevs uh mtx thunder pretty generic you guys have seen that before and then who is this get a grip interlock power ring from tiffany so again, taking advantage of the uh, jewelry maker brand name. I'm sure they sued them. So, cause you can't have anything Tiffany, name Tiffany. And then who, who was it? Somebody else, I think there was like a Tiffany car audio and they got sued by them. And then also you can't put anything in a turquoise box. So any kind of gift. Cause they, they got a uh, either trademark or some sort of copyright on that as well. Was it Clifford? Nobody gives a shit about. There you go. There's there's what people want. This fiberglass thing, mass produced. 
you know, and each woofer is 12 ohm, so then you get a 4 ohm load. Yeah, see a 4 ohm mono load. Designed to work best in tiny enclosures. Not really, but they can they? Yes. So and that's the old logo. I'd love to get a decal made of that, you know, or an abbreviation of that. I love uh, multiple layer um, decals, cut vinyl. All right, give me a sec. Sissy wants to feed, so I'm going to pause this. There you go. She's eating the food. She got no twofers. No twofers for the sis. So she has nice hard poopoos because she can't really chew up the food, so it comes out almost whole. She's lost a lot of weight. She had a fatty tumor on her chest, though, which schnauzers get what's called schnauzer bumps, which are basically giant pimples. It's kind of gross, but she is the sweetest little dog I've ever known. Other than Bud Bud. Bud Bud was really sweet, and he was very affectionate. It was really, really good dog. And if you can afford a schnauzer, I recommend it. So back when I was making tons of money, which is not really a lot of money, uh, we bought him in 07. And uh, I think he was 300 and then she was 350 So, and then they let me even put it on a credit card, which was great. But they were way out in Tonopah, which is fucking way the fuck out there. However, I just found out somebody is, some developers, a group of developers are developing like 10,000 homes out there because there's such demand in Phoenix and people are willing to pay lots and lots of money to live in a cheap place with plenty of facilities. So... And right now, Arizona is one of those places. Another one is Vegas. Vegas always grows. So just because, you know, they got all that damn water, at least they used to. I don't know. I always like the cobalt amps. I just wish they put more controls in them, right? Because I don't even think they had crossovers in them. Um, you know, put crossover base boost on it. But again, it was meant to be a uh, budget entry level. And what's funny is to add uh, base boost and crossovers, you're talking about like pennies. <laughs> literally pennies to add that but you know they they always want you to work towards getting again it's it's manipulation of the market i don't again i don't agree with it and, and i'm glad that kind of went away because everybody's made in china now so and it's not that china's bad or worse or anything like that because really when it comes to that you get the amp and then you test it that's 100 percent qc and that's what you really want and you just want the results you know and if you have a you get a 5K amp built and you rate it at 4K, then you're good. You're golden. So, welcome to Gettysburg. Who is this? Pioneer. Honor Stabe. Once you got a pair of our speakers, this will be the only time you'll have a bad listening experience. What? Once you've got a pair of our speakers, this will be the... Oh, I see. They're talking about that. Oh. That is terrible. God, a girl in a bikini and, and just some speakers would have been so much better. There's the black gold. Some bro, I, w I used to wear shorts like that. Yep. I used to I used to smoke when I was about 19. I met my wife. I was gay. I used to be gay. I sucked my dick like 20 times. and But I don't do it anymore. I'm not gay anymore. So, so when people get mad at me and they call me gay or they call me fat, technically those two are true. So, But it's not a big deal. I don't let that stop me. That's kind of different. Let's see. Oh, I see. It's Plexi. And then it looks like... Hmm. Let's see what it says. Sometimes they have the captions. I don't know. It's interesting, though. It's an interesting layout. So I remember there was that... Uh, I'll have to point it out to you. It was uh, Oz Audio 10s. And they had them in... Um, which is basically free air. But they, they used a um, fiberglass mat to dampen... The excursion to give them a little bit of resistance as if they were in a an enclosure and uh there was eight of them and they were it was pretty rad so got a perfect score or the, 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 it, i think it was like a i think it's rta is what 30 points and they got like 28 or 29 it's fucking great but then the other guys complain you're cheating ah, you're not supposed to remove the front seats and then drive the car from the back but it looked cool and it made the magazine seat regular Solo barrack. Again, uh, all they did was make the magnet bigger than they used to. And it, it basically works the same as what you would put two shitty woofers in isobaric. That's all isobaric does is it combines the motor force of two motors. Or you could just make the motor bigger. And that's what TC Sounds did. And t -Lo brought all that technology to market first. 
Shout out to Tilo. Honda Hop Up. Typical JL. I don't know why they're showing you the door. There you go. Molded that fucker in there. It's never coming out. There you go. Side shaved with the ponytail. What was this, 94? Yeah, November 94. Pretty typical. Lens cleaner. You don't find those anymore. And that's for the tape. I think I own one of those. Graduate with an associate's degree from CIE. You're a loser unless you pay us money. That's what that's what they're really saying. That's what they're really saying. You're a nobody unless you give us money to give you a paper. What is that? What are these? Installer friendly product line also includes output converters, basically line output converters and some fans. Which again, this is all off the shelf and they just put their sticker on it. Who is it by? Streetwires? Stinger. Yep, right there. The ad. Conveniently next door, the Stinger. So same thing. Uh, these were made by uh, Lightning Audio. See, same bus bars. And uh, a lot of these were imported by Larry, at least for, for a minute. Uh, until they can fly someone over to China and then they go, oh, you're buying them from this factory. Okay, well, we can buy it from a different factory. And that's what it really requires. And you got to pay some guy like at least 100 grand a year to go over there. And, you know, he's got to, uh, it helps if he knows the language or at least has an interpreter. It's kind of expensive. But if you get some guy to live over there and do it, and there, there's actually people that have done that. So I think Dan Wiggins did that for at least a while. Dan Wiggins, who started uh, a dyer, um, he's, um, he had his uh, development company, ADI, which is basically him and a CAD monkey. And uh, they would come up with drawings and, and OEM solutions and things like that. And then he, uh, I, I'm not sure why he worked the deal out the way that he did, but then he had ADI acquired by CJ. CJ, and as CJ is S-E-A-J-A-Y. And he had his company acquired by CJ. Um, and uh, CJ is a, a steel uh, fabrication. Uh, there's a couple of other ones, hang tie. Um, that I've used and uh, I don't know there's there's a bunch of generic ones and then I, again I haven't been able to find it on YouTube but there's this video where there's rows and rows and rows and rows and rows and I'm talking about each row is probably 30 deep of a six axis CNC machine so there's 30 deep and then it's like at least 30 to 40 wide and those machines are running 24 7 machining products like you cannot compete with that America and then on top of that, they, they learn how to make the machines, right? So then they're, now they're making the machines for cheap too. And guess who gets the best China prices? China. So this is all useless shit now. CD cases. Speakers in your head rashed. Waste of money. What does that say? Trust your ear. Trust your rear. Fultron. And then there's that Rockford. We went there for breakfast this morning. It was great. Mm -hmm. Power flow. Uh, capacitor also sleeved by Lightning Audio. Right there in Tempe when they were in Tempe. Back in the late 90s. Again, I worked there for the summer of 99. Where I met Mr. Van Sickle and Mr. Dealey. Oh, this is that same company that did the th other thing for ACA. So I guess these are composite boxes. I don't know. This one doesn't look like a composite box. It looks like a MDF box that's been treated with like a gray bed liner. Drop in and you're good to go. Bam pass on the go. So it's like, well, you know, look at this. So it's a bam pass, right? But how do they know it's gonna work for your Wilford? Oh, because it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. No, you gotta have the two small parameters. Ooh, 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 ooh. There, and that's what a band pass looks like. See? Limited band width. So bullshit in here, really high in here, right? But that's what the 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 Pisa is like. That's what they like the the they like that. So it's good for them. So not so much on this part. So and then of course this depends on your uh, excursion and properties like that. Is that Franken? Franken? Frankincense? Frankenstein? Is it Ampenstein? Do, 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 flips up and down was a little obcon. Hmm. Actuators. Uh, I'll link to the actuators on Amazon. 
Uh, Larry, that's what the, we, we unloaded last shipment. Oh, no, two shipments ago. There's a shit ton of these. And Larry offers them for much cheaper than everyone else. And I think he sells them on Amazon. So they're just useful for when you want to automate stuff. How you use them is up to you. So they're not very quick. But, you know, if you want to move something heavy, it's a great way to do that. Bass in your vagina. Pandisk, famous for the bass CDs. Before decaf. Before rebased music. Isomax. This is just a ground loop isolator, which is basically just a one-to-one -one transformer. Uh, again, because uh, RCA music signal is uh, alternating current, you can step it up, step it down, or whatever if you want. Um, but there is some loss and there is some sponginess. But what it does is it decouples it from the source of the noise. So again, these are only band-aids. I only recommend them like if you already have everything you want, but you still got noise, then sometimes I use them. Or sometimes I recommend them to me. Now, if somebody demands them and want to buy them, I'm like, what is the market price on these? Oh, $20? Okay, I'll sell it to you for $15. So, because I don't like selling them, but, you know, if you're going to fucking... Oh, that's Tim Kelly. I don't think I've met him, but uh, Larry and those guys talk about him a lot. So, uh, Passive inductors and crossovers. Matta Sound, Xylotron, Inner Technique, Meniscus, CMAA, the main course, official CD. That's your test CD. You got to have the official CD. How much is it? Let's see, it's 20 bucks for a CD. Well, back then, that was pretty standard. That's how Garth Brooks got all his fucking money, man. He was selling real CDs for 20 bucks each. And your percentage on that cut is pretty fucking good. Streaming, not so much. But there's like double the people there were than back then. So there's more streaming. PPI 2075, 4100 for the highs, the lows, kicker free air. And then it shows them free air. Reinforced with a box, which is I always like. And it gives it a good look, too. That white look is pretty cool. So I'm actually a fan of free air as far as the response goes. It doesn't do what a box can do for sure. But sometimes it's, it's a, a more appropriate application. So, and then they still have it cleared so you can put groceries in a stroller and all that kind of bullshit. Amps over there. And then there it is. Oh, liquid cooling system. So, and uh, the pump. You got to have a pump too. Power pump. You know, thermal control unit. And uh, coolant pump. And you got to have a reservoir. Compression fittings. So, I think we sold, yeah, I sold all these to Jeremy Dad. We had a shit ton of them. I post some pictures. I gotta find a good uh, picture host. There you go. Hope he's not gay. What does it say? Power horse, horsey power. And then there's a bunch of bros. There you go. Remember those shirts? Home crown. Back to the roots of North Dakota. Ooh, freezing cold. Boy, I tell you what. There's that guy up there in I think it's North or South Dakota. I get confused with those two. But um, he's growing oranges up there in the wintertime by using uh, geothermal. Uh, he's basically running pipe underground. Uh, and the ground is stable. It's temperature stable to about 52 degrees, 50 degrees ish. And so when it's, you know, fucking 30 below and with wind chill, 80 below and you got 50 degree, you know, breeze coming through your greenhouse. Yeah, that's a that's a very doable thing. So I want to do that here in Arizona. I want to I want to have, lay both uh, liquid and also straight air. So and I want to you know experiment with the two. So because I mean if you're going to do the work and you're going to pay for the pipe, you might as well have the access to the you know because you don't want to dig up a bunch of times. You want to dig up once and then bury it and never think about it again. Look at this guy. Who is this guy? Paul Malti Malti Maltel. I don't know. He's a trophy guy. I like it how he's got the cup covering his nuts. That's cute. So, Alpine and Rockford. Can't beat it. Rightful reward. Working 24-7 still gets you something. Made in Louisiana, if I remember that. Uh, the This one and then the S10. This one was called the S15, I believe. Well, the GMC version, which was a little fancier. And uh, these are really great, though, if you put the, I think it's a, it's not an LS swap. It's some sort of, I think it's a six-cylinder that you put into it, and they're pretty rad. I think Adam has one. 
Was that the Typhoon? I think that was the Typhoon. I can't remember. I'm not a car guy. Again, Megathon. Are they still around? Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I picked up a, a heat sink from the auction that was made for Michael Jordan, and it had the swoosh, Nike swoosh on it, and which was cool. And um, then I found a demo board. It was great because PPI used to do this, or usually in the white ones, and then they put it up on plexiglass. And then, you know how sometimes they do the circuit board trace screen print? They put that on the bottom so you could see on the circuit board of why you know, their amp is better than the other guys. It wasn't, but you can see why. And what was funny was in order to keep people from stealing it, they would just cut two traces on the on the board, on the backside. And so I found that out and I just reconnected the traces. It's a brand new board because it's cheaper just to pull it off the line than it is to, you know, uh, make a demo board, you know, like a fake board. And so uh, I took that one, put it in this heat sink, presto, sold it. Very rare, super rare. What does that say? Cyclone. Yeah, that's the Cyclone. Oh, the Typhoon was the uh, Blazer, the Mini Blazer. And then the Cyclone was the pickup truck one. If I remember right. That's what I remember about the 90s. Everybody's like, oh, man. I think uh, Dave, um, it's either Dave or JP had uh, the, what's the other one? This, this is, what does that say? I forgot now. Typhoon? Cyclone. The other one was the Typhoon. So uh, I think it was either JP or David Moore that had the Typhoon uh, Blazer Alchemy. Audio Alchemy. Mm. Um, and uh, that's where JP got started with uh, uh, Pink Star Industries. So show your Pink Star. So I, it was funny is when I first got started and, and uh, back in what, like 05 when I started building woofers. Uh, I remember texting uh, David Moore and, and telling him, I'm like, I need to start a competing brand. I'm like, I want to do Brown Star Industries. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, everybody, Dave, Dave gets the, the pink and I get the stink. So that's that was the joke. Uh, let's see, what else? What did they do for the mirrors? Like, Oh, I see. It's two woofers and then there's mirrors in there, like a little coffin trough type of thing. And these are all winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Is that Wayne? No, that's somebody else. Who is that? Some heavy duty hardware has spectators going, oogling, ogling the install. Ooh, look at that install. Lots of hours. People don't realize the hours that go into these fucking demo trucks, dude. Just for that dash. I mean, that, is that slick as shit? Yeah. This is 1994 and that's some Tesla looking fucking shit right there. Um, but... It, the, you know, that's a lot of work. Lots of planning. And this is all before 3D printing and molding. I do like that. I wish they had done the, like the Tesla steering wheel, which is the, you know, kit. Uh, Michael Knight, Knight Rider. Uh, I forget what it's called, where it just has two handles. So let's look at this. Vehicle, fleet side, owner, MTX. This is the black gold one. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. And the whole thing is basically a $100,000 write-off. And then uh, all the fuel is a write-off and any expenses are a write-off, including the lap dances that they buy and the cocaine that they buy and the alcohol that they buy for reps and dealers and stuff all across the country when they come visit you. So including the horrors. Oh, we had the critical mass. Uh, I think those were uh, alternator regulators. So there we go. Look at the whole thing. Lots of woofers. BG15. Some tweeters, BG. Oh, black gold, black gold. BG. I was like, BG is like, I don't know. I don't know what that meant. Body control epicenter. Not that you need it. There's some of the cool pillars with the black gold series. Black gold was their top of the line, by the way, which I thought was funny because it's like super generic, like super plain, and they could have done so much more, but they didn't. And then later on, they learned that you know, uh, when they acquired, I think Extent, that there's a market for weird esoteric type of stuff in fact they they acquired the uh my tech group i should say my tech is the uh, uh holding company parent company to the mtx brand to esoteric uh accessories line and to extant and uh like 30 other brands of like shit you never heard of like bic and um a lot of home audio pa stuff like that 
those contracts are fucking lucrative, man. You get a lucrative like contract like that, oh, free money. And then the, typically what they do is they pump it back into the tooling for this weird shit that car audio guys like. So it's a, it's just all free money, basically. Is that toad, toad the wet sprocket? Yes, it is. Toad the wet sprocket. Magna pop hot boxing. Seed. Ling? I don't know. Music review. It's played with lasers and it doesn't skip. Wow. I like this, though. Like, if you want to go through and find the ad for the brand, that was a kind of a cool thing. Go through and remember the name videos. The Final Word by Rob McPherson. And then Rob does stuff. So who's let's do who's bringing up the rear with the mini disc, Sanyo and the mini disc standard, which kind of really never took off. Um, I think the capacity on this, yeah, it was just a smaller CD. Uh, yeah, and I think it was like EPs, like, you know, it was like three or four songs, if I remember right. I'd love to do research on that and just to find out what it was because, you know, the, having the idea of having a changer in your dash is like insane. And there's actually a lot of OEM stuff I've seen in Toyota and Lexus and things like that um, where like it feeds it and then it moves it down in an elevator and all that kind of shit. And it was really tits McGee having all that right in the front dash. Now, because typically you would have the head unit up here and then you'd have a changer in the in the trunk. So that's not very fun. And then Hornet. There you go. There you go, guys. Auto Sound and Security. Bazooka Performance. Win. $70,000. Essential Accessory Buyer's Guide. So... So I love that one uh, meme where the girl is doing a demonstration to show you uh, that even girls can solder and then she's holding the soldering iron with her hand. <laughs> I love that meme. It's great. So I love you guys. I'm going to get to work and make some woofers for you. Have a great day.